Good afternoon, everybody. It is Kim coming at you live at Soul Storm Quilt Shop. I have with me today the lovely Vanna as she's holding up some samples for you. This first one here, we're going to kick it off with some quilt kicks, kits, quilt kits for our Halloween ness treats if you will before we do the rest of the live unboxing this one here thank you miss vanna it is going to be an amazing quilt kit i'm going to turn it around again for you so this kit is from riley blake designs it is called life is the flower honeybees and flowers please a brand new quilt kit from riley blake designs i will tell you ahead of time we did not get this entire line we only got the boxed quilt kit so this is going to finish at 54 by 73 and a half you can see here it retails for 97.90 i really love these riley blake quilt kits when we can get a really good deal on them we try to snatch them up they're just great boxes great displays we have i believe six of these available for you the next one i'm going to show you also from riley blake this adorable panel and quilt so the panel is this big nice centerpiece along with some borders that gets on there thank you vanna and is from oh she went ahead and dropped it look at her being all fancy here and this so there's two there's boys and girls isn't she just absolutely adorable so these quilt kits thank you vanna are both brand new just came in today i just got them in the system they come again in these cute adorable little boxes they're they're so fun they make a great gift but the thing that we really like about them is they are super quick projects and so because of the price point you get a lot of fabric and not a lot of necessary work to go with it. So these are going to finish at 52 by 59 and a half ish. They're going to retail for $79. They're called Special Delivery and Bundle of Joy. Nice big quilts. And like I said, simple projects. You can get them done in a weekend. Easy peasy. And they are available on our website. I only have six of each, but you get them. All the fabric, the pattern, and everything is in the super cute box. So special delivery is the boy quilt. And bundle of joy here is the girl quilt. Again, both available on our website and in store. The next quilt we had featured here in the shop earlier this fall and we've been waiting to finish kitting it because we were waiting for the rest of the background fabrics to come and it finally came you guys so this is for you all clara it is just in time for christmas this features the fabric a christmas carol from moda fabrics absolutely love it it is a square quilt i have it here available it is going to finish at 60 by 60. A lot of fabric. I will tell you that this pattern, Clara is the name of the pattern, it actually has you using like three fabrics, but because they redid this just for this project in mind, we do have added sheets, uh, cutting instructions, if you will, so that you can cut it to make it so scrappy looking. So this again is a 60 by 60. It's going to retail for $150 just because of all the amount of fabric that you're going to get in it. So much fabric. It's stunning. A lot of background as well. We used Bella Solid uh, White in the background. So it's absolutely stunning. You won't be disappointed and just in time to work on for the Christmas holidays. And last week, we did a moose in the woods. Remember moose in woods? Yeah, moose in woods is here all kitted up for you. She is going to finish. She's, she's kind of petite. Moose might need some action, extra borders, but we have it here for you. 46 inches by 56 inches. Throw a flannel on the back. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, get it up to closer to that 60, but still a nice size to put on a throw. That is going to retail for you guys at $54. And everything to complete the quilt top, including the binding, is in your kit. Okay, I think that's all the new kits I wanted to show you. But 
I also have new fabric to show you that we are also going to kit. And I'm going to ask Miss Vanna. I had a couple of sheets of paper. Don't know where they went. They might still be on the printer because we are kitting up some new fabrics or some new kits. Gosh darn it. And they are so pretty. So I'm going to turn the camera around, around again. This new line is from Moda Fabrics. Catherine Watson, a newer designer. This is actually just her second release. Her first release, we actually got, oh gosh, it was last winter sometime, early winter. I remember when it came in, we were like in the middle of a blizzard. So, but that was called Flower Press. It is so gorgeous. This line, Field of Flowers, is just as stunning. You can see we have these beautiful porcelain colored backgrounds with some ecru. Ecru or ecru? Ecru. Ecru? I think, so. I think it depends. Along with beautiful turquoise, teals, and blues. This is a nice little blender option here. The next one, I love these navies and the mustards that she used. These all also work with flower press. So if you really like that line that she did before, same type of color palette, beautiful mustards. I love that there's still some void in these prints so that you can still use them for borders and also blocks and not lose a bunch of that design. This next one, I just want to call it yummy. I think it has so much dimension to it. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you have these gorgeous like rows of flowers, but then you've got some like grunge, almost like splattered detail in the background with these beautiful flowers, the daisies and posies, teals, that mustard orange, navies. I, it's just absolutely stunning. The taupe color palette is still in style. It's not going anywhere. And again, you can see that kind of grunge detail. It's just so yummy. I love it. And yes, Erin, you're right. That blue absolutely just pops. Wait till you see the rest of some of these other blues. This next one actually comes in a couple more color palettes. Right here, you're only going to see three. And that is because, aha, she's included in our kits. I'm very excited about that, by the way. And small, scattered little daisies. I really like this teal print with that little hint of mustard from that daisy. Just makes that teal almost just come right out at you. Same with that navy, beautiful print. This pattern, I it really reminds me of her first line, that flower press. She does a lot of rubber stamping. And that's kind of how she got in this business was this flower or excuse me, this paper pressing, if you will, with the stamps. And so these flowers are just so perfectly shaped along with this little detail. They're just gorgeous. And they just work so well with the rest of her line. Going over still with what that last print was, same type of design in a smaller scale. This one I think might be one of my favorites. It's going to come to a close second with what I'm going to show you next. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Henrietta. So this is more of a, a packed, but still some void in that beautiful floral. We have it in multicolor with that porcelain background. This is navy. It might look a little black on the camera, but this is a super deep navy along with a deep teal and mustard color. And here is the gorgeousness. Aren't these beautiful I mean, there's mums, there's Queen Anne's lace. I feel like there's little daisies in here. I just love the detail and the distressed look that are in some of these flowers. It gives you that appearance that they're almost 3D. So this one is on a beautiful ecru type background. This is a very light teal. This is that mustard and those teals are really just popping out from it, especially these taupe flowers, how they pop out from that and the navy background. The blues are gorgeous. And the same type of print, but instead of all the multicolors, we really have just the solids and like a nice white tone, more of an outline silhouette in the navy, in that porcelain with the ecru, ecru, 
Ikru. Ikru. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. And this beautiful mustard. Now, I had these beautiful prints. I don't know where they went. But we have two kits that are going to be available for you guys. So this first one here, uh, Moda made this pattern. I'm pretty sure with this line in mind brand new it's called variable star this is going to finish at a breathtaking 60 and a half by 75 and a half it uses a layer cake of the line so you're going to get all the prints the background is porcelain which is going to really blend well with all of these prints and then the binding is another moda solid called pond so that's beautiful with the blues. We will have that available. It's available now on our website. It will retail for $92. A gorgeous pattern and a gorgeous print. I love it. The next one we're going to be kidding is called Provence. 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 Potato, potato, maybe. Mm -hmm. This is not a newer panel, or excuse me, a newer pattern. It's actually a couple years old. It's from My Wandering Path. I believe she originally wrote it in like 2022, but it has been revamped up here. I'll just, just show you my little beautiful scratch paper here. This beautiful print is Provence. It uses quite a few different prints in the line. You can kind of see my chicken scratching here. Sorry about that. But the cover, you know, the cover, you know, they have to change it up. But what's nice about this pattern is that it has two options available. So you can do it by 62 by 82 or a 62 square. We are kitting it up to do the large version. So you're going to have all the fabric to make that 62 by 82, and it will retail for $115. There is so much fabric in this one, you guys. And it it's just it's just stunning. I just absolutely love it. With this one as well, I am rewriting some notes here on the side so you know what's going to be fabric A, fabric B. Sometimes we just need a little bit of help, if you will, right? So these are all the new things that have come in just in these last couple days. Happy Halloween, by the way, in case I didn't mention it. So we have new treats. I've got so much more fabric coming in. I just, so oh, it's, we've got more coming in tomorrow. I've got some new timeless to show you, but I want to get it kind of arranged a little bit better as well. But just a lot of beautiful stuff, just in time to start thinking about next year's projects. Winter's coming, and you might need to have some, you know, projects set aside. I want to let everybody know, hop back on tomorrow, Friday, November 1st. I don't know, but a little birdie in the shop told me Christmas is coming. I don't know. Did you guys know that? Yeah, that's what I've heard. So you might want to hop on for our Friday feature tomorrow, starting November 1st. In the meantime, keep sewing up a storm. Bye.